now we're back to our hole. It's been heavily excavated again. Lots of cool bottles left here on the side. Oh, it's big, so we keep going. Well, check out this cool bottle. It's still got a partial label on it. Yeah. Partial labels, should I say. And there's the writing. Non-shut McCall in Toronto, I think. So there's one. Wow, there's the other guy. There he is. There's that electric oil. Eclectic, should I say. I like it. And then uh, we'll get digging. There's Andrew digging. Yeah. Started early. Starting early. Starting early. So let's get going. Andrew and uh, Gary left this cute little jar on the surface. That's a cute cutie. More jars. Digging. Now I gotta start digging. The weekend before, it was over here. Hmm. And they made it. Bigger. You heard that guys, people are coming. They dig, they dig, they know where to dig. Copper. It's cute. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get this whiskey bottle out. It's ready to grow almost. Yep. Let's see if there's anything on it. Eh. Looks like a little flask. I don't think there's anything right Let's that off. Yeah, no writing. Still nice though. There we go. Well, there we go, guys. There's another oyster shell. I kind of like it. I might take it for my display. I guess there were uh, fancy people here. <laughs> so, guys, funny enough, not long ago I was talking about finding coins, and look, it looks like one to me. So, I'm going to quickly just uh, rub it and show you what it looks after. Here's our excavation, me, Andrew. Not much yet, but uh, we're hopeful. We'll keep digging. He's gone uh, quite deep in there. I believe at this point it might be classified as a mine shaft. <laughs> we're gonna connect the two at some point. It'll be like a raise. <laughs> well, our hole's been heavily excavated. So I might be digging in here for a bit. Oh yeah, really crazy. Well, check out this cool HP sauce bottle. Still has part of the label. That's neat. Check out this cute little perfume bottle. It has a cork on it. Still. It says Clyco. Timeline. Clyco Timeline. That's neat. There's another little Listerine bottle. They're small but they're cute. I like them. Well, we get a bottle in here. Looks older. Let's see what we have here. Ooh. It's one of those torpedo ones. Oh, I don't think there's any writing though. Oh, that doesn't look like it. No, no writing, but it's one of the older ones, that's for sure. Nice bottle though. There's something. Oh, oh just a big jar. No, oh, right. Oh. Your collapse just occurred. Oh, look. Pretty. So, to say no to jar. But let's see what we have here. Got one of those jars. Maybe like an olive jar. Huh, neat. Get another bottle here. It looks intact. Let's see. Ah oh, man. Busted. Damn it. Two bottles right here. See? There's the two bottles. It's, it's almost loose. Oops, come on. Yep. Bottle bottle. But uh this one doesn't look like there's any writing. Damn it. Okay. Well, plain. Let's try bottle number two. Oh, oh golly. Ah. <laughs> big one. I oh, want those big jugs. Look at that. No rain, though. Keep digging. Oh, cute little bottle. 
attack clam. Guess they couldn't open that one. <laughs> Check it out guys, just pulled out my first Check it out guys, finally got myself a Coke bottle. First one. Intact. Nice. That's what the bottom says. Uh the cola company. Proper the Coca-Cola Company, Canada. Term for refund, I guess. Trademark. Nice. Very nice, though. Pretty sure I just dug part of an old clay pipe. So that looks like to me. Too bad it wasn't whole. Damn. Milk bottle here. Gotta get it before the roof comes down. Oh. Yes, it's embossed. Kingdom Dairy again. J. Hollinger and Company. Phone, Maine 2055. Yeah. This whole roof is about to collapse in a second. I can feel it. It's going to go down soon. It's going to go. Any moment. It's going to quick stop. Like it's sagging, but maybe I'm wrong. Here we go. There's one section. Mm. One section. Mm. There's the other section. Ooh. Any bottles? Not that I see. Keep going. Too bad it's broken. Too bad it's broken, but it'll make a good bottle glass. Nice. I think I just found a little clay marble. Definitely a musket ball, it's not heavy. So.